and welcome back to the channel where we give you all sorts of world-class videos on remodeling your homes, your houses, your kitchens, your bathrooms, tiling. We cover engineering disasters. We cover tool reviews. And you know, we have to receive a lot of tools in the mail here like this one here. So today, what we're gonna do in light of this whole coronavirus uh, self-quarantining that we're all doing here now, we're gonna show you what we call best practices here for keeping yourself safe from the coronavirus that might be on the boxes or in the contents when you receive deliveries in the mail. Because we're receiving a lot more deliveries now. We're ordering a lot of things through the mail now than we were before. And if we're not careful, you know, there is a heightened risk, I think, of contracting the virus because you don't know who put that item in the box. We already know that people from Amazon have tested positive and it could be at any warehouse. It's not just Amazon, right? So let's take a look at some of the steps that are prudent here for us to take in order to protect ourselves. Okay, so one of the first things you're going to see here is I'm using gloves. And the reason why I'm using gloves whenever I handle this box here is because, as you know, the medical experts have been telling us that the coronavirus can live on cardboard for up to a day. So the guy that just dropped it off, Maybe he wasn't wearing gloves. I didn't see him. I don't know. But maybe he got it from somebody in a warehouse that was infected. We don't know. But why take the chance? Whenever you get a box in the mail, this is actually the shipping container, make sure you wear gloves. That's the first thing. And what's even scarier is if there's a plastic inside this box here, the coronavirus can live on that plastic for up to three days. That's even scarier. So my strategy here first is to wear gloves. We're, we'll slice the box open here, gently of course, to protect the contents inside. Okay, but I wanna get my item out of this box and keep the box out of the way. Okay, now you have two choices here that what we can do here with this. We can just set this box aside in the garage for a few days, or we can just open it up and take the item out. Okay, so we'll open these up here. Okay, so this is the tool that I ordered for a tool review video that we're going to film this week here. See, but here's what scares me. Look at this, it comes in this bubble wrap and it also comes with this, uh, you know, the whole tool here, it comes in this plastic case here. So what I'm concerned about is, is there coronavirus on here because it can live on plastic for three days. And I, I do like to recycle my, my bubble wrap and stuff here too. So do I throw this in the trash? Would that be the safest thing to do? Or I can just put this in the cardboard box and leave it in there for a few days in the garage as well. And I can disinfect this package right here. Okay, so this is the most likely contaminated items here. So we're just going to take this and stick them into the garage. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is we'll take a wipe here. So this is a this is a bleach wipe. And I'm just going to wipe down the contents here of the package. We'll wipe it. Yeah, so we just wipe it all over here. And remember too that, you know, if you want to be even more stringent about it too, you can just leave this package here in the garage for a few days until the virus is on there. And you, know, you notice how I keep saying until the virus is, as though it's there. You should always assume that it's there. You should always assume that the delivery guy or girl has the virus. You should always assume whoever packaged this at the warehouse before it was delivered to you. You should assume they had the virus. Okay. Okay, just a reminder now, do not bring this inside the house. This has to stay out. You can put it out on a porch somewhere, you can put it in the garage. I prefer to keep it somewhat protected because I do want to be environmentally conscious as well as being responsible with the coronavirus as well. Oh, and something else too, if you're going to be receiving deliveries by hand from the driver, like he hands it right to you, man, you better make sure you're wearing a mask because you're going to be within six feet of these people. And and I'm, I'm willing to bet six feet Feet, we're going to find out later six feet's not enough because we're starting to hear now that I think this virus is airborne and that it can drift around in the air for several minutes so you want to make sure you get yourself a good mask now this is an N95 mask right here 
So the N95 masks, all of them will say N95 on them somewhere. So this one's a 3M mask here. I buy these by the box. I buy them in boxes of 20 uh, because I normally, through all of my you know remodeling and you're doing demolition work and sanding, you have to have a mask on. In fact, OSHA requires it like on construction sites where there's uh, lots of dust going on. What I like about this mask is it's a slight upgrade compared to other types of N95 masks because it has a respirator built onto it there. So I have this whole box here. I think there's about 18 left in this. I'm taking this over to the hospital to donate these because I'm not going to use them. I have just enough for our family and the rest is going to the hospital. And by the way, if you have any, or if you know anybody that has any, make sure they get donated to the hospital. Don't let them rot away sitting in your garage when they could be saving people's lives and protecting the doctors and nurses that are out there saving our lives. Okay, so here we are. Here's an inferior version of an N95. It just doesn't have the respirator on it, but it will still block the virus particles. So we, we typically use these. We, we used to buy these at Home Depot. Home Depot is not selling them right now because they're trying to give everything to the hospitals. But these are the types of masks that are generally accepted. And by the way, if you're going out grocery shopping, you really need to be wearing one of these masks. Because what they're saying now is, you know, you could be walking right by somebody who has the virus and they don't even know that they have it. And just, you know, people talking and breathing. You know, I mean, look, if I... You know, if I sigh or something, it, it can shoot out particles God knows how far. Plus, it can get picked up in the currents in the air. You're in an air-conditioned store, you know, there's currents of air going like this. And that stuff can float around. Okay, remember now, these are not reusable, and you can't sanitize them. They're not designed for that. But if you must try to reuse them, I would get two or three of these and put them in rotation and separate them by three or four days. And the proper way to put this mask on is, remember, this has to seal around your nose and mouth. I see too many people walking around with their noses hanging out I mean come on people all right so here's how you do it you get two rubber bands it goes over your face like this and remember this has to seal around your nose and mouth so there's two rubber bands one here goes above the ear and the other rubber band here should go below the ear here I like to do it in the mirror so I can see what I'm doing but see how it's like that and it seals around the nose and mouth and you pinch the metal strip up here so that it's sealed around your nose and make sure that you can feel it nice and snug and tight here and that's how you do it. Now what's ironic here is uh, the reason why I bought this in the first place was to do a tool review video that I'm going to compare it against another tool that I have that does the same thing. So I'm actually using the first tool to cut the plastic to get this one out of the plastic. So these two guys are going to be competing head to head in a video. It's ironic how we used one tool here to get the other tool out of its own container. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put this box here with all the other boxes that I've got on uh, hold and plastic's going to go there. And remember the virus can supposedly be viable for three days on the plastic, so who knows, I'll just leave it there for a week before I even touch it. Because you know, the medical experts, they just keep changing their tune. What works one day doesn't work another day. And at first they told us don't wear masks. They said it'll do more harm than good. Now they're saying wear masks, so who knows? So if they're telling us that, that it can live for a few days, guess what? I'm going to give it a week. So as you can see, this is the only thing going in the house. The box is staying out here. Well, I certainly hope you're finding this video helpful so far. And if you are, hey, smash that like button down below. Give us a thumbs up, huh? That tells us that you like us. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, and I gotta say, why haven't you, man? You're missing out on a lot of great videos. Click on that subscribe button down below there. And when you do, click the little gray bell icon next to it and tell YouTube that you wanna receive all alerts from this channel. So that way, when we upload a video, you'll be notified of it. And if we ever do live streams, and uh, you, you definitely don't wanna miss those. And listen, you're gonna be home for several weeks now with your coronavirus quarantine here. We're all going to be stuck here at home for a few weeks. So hopefully you'll find a lot of other great videos here on the channel for you to keep you busy. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in, folks, and share this video with other people, too, that it will help them as well. And thank you, and we will see you all on the next one.